when you have a reverse osmosis system, it, it makes me really sad and it bothers me. We've inherited a lot of customers from other water companies and they had this reverse osmosis system and they had no idea that you are supposed to clean the storage tank. It will grow bacteria for sure. Well, why? Because by the time the water gets to the storage tank, there's no chlorine in it. And it sits there, and it sits there, and it sits there, and it sits there. Over the course of the year, it's going to develop bacteria. That's why every reverse osmosis system has what you call a polished filter. The polished filter isn't really removing any extra chemicals from the water. It's simply really there, designed to take the odor out of the storage tank. If it grows bacteria, which we know it will. Having said that, yes, the storage tank should get sanitized at least once a year when you change your water filters. Having said that, I feel very compelled to share with you some very important information about your health. We do not recommend you drink acidic reverse osmosis water. Any reverse osmosis system that doesn't realkalize the water is acidic. And when you put acid into your body, you're increasing your risk of heart attack and stroke or dying from it. This is based on 60 years of research documented through the World Health Organization. It's listed on our paragraph, uh, sorry, in a blue paragraph that we highlighted for you so you don't have to read the whole uh, document called Nutrients in Drinking Water from the World Health Organization. Whenever we do reverse osmosis, what that means is you're on well water that is salty. And that's the whole point of a reverse osmosis system, to take the mineral out of the water. Unfortunately, it takes the good mineral out, and most mineral in your water is good. Lead isn't good. Our own systems can take lead out, but they're going to take out the abundant calcium and magnesium that would have kept your water healthy. So now you got this acidic water that's not good for you. So we use, through our company called Aquaspace, American Minerals to remineralize that water so the pH is alkaline while we do not add aluminum or heavy metal into the water. You have to be careful. If you have a remineralizing RO system, ask for testing to show that it does not add aluminum or heavy metals into the water. This testing is critical. We won't sell anything if we're concerned. Uh, through Aquaspace, our, our manufacturer, we've had four filters tested. It's easy to make water alkaline uh, when it's acidic. It's not easy necessarily to do it without the addition of lead and aluminum. And all four of these water filters added aluminum or heavy metal into the water. Here in our showroom at Pyram, we have a filter from a huge manufacturer that's in the big box stores like Home Depot. And it says right on the filter, and the whole point of this filter is to alkalize the water. It says, caution, this filter has a chemical in it known to the state of California to cause cancer or birth defects. And this is what I'm talking about. If you're drinking an RO system, yes, you need to disinfect that storage tank. If you're on city water, you do not need the reverse osmosis system whatsoever. You should get rid of it. That's how strongly we feel. We recommend you replace it with a system like Aquaspace technology, a NASA spin-off technology that keeps the minerals in water. You don't need a drain line. You're not sending water down the drain every three or four minutes, a liter of water essentially when it's trying to make water. No storage tank, unlimited water, alkaline, and even better organic filtration. So yes, sanitize your RO system, but even ask the question, do I really need it? If I'm on city water, you do not need it.